it will require us to actually express it. Uh, but in 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 a way that I think will will only become clear as we go through it. We will find ourselves doing this, and we'll see there will be more calls from people, from communities, from the nation, from state leaders, and so on, for a more compassionate uh, approach towards uh, people, towards the planet, towards nature, everything like that. And it's already happening. Um, and as the next few years go on, we will see more of this. And I think the, the key to the whole process for ourselves personally is to have confidence that this is actually what's happening and to begin to express it in our own lives. And through doing that, see what kind of difference it makes. And, uh, you know, it may, it may initially perhaps not seem to make much difference. But I think as the years go on, the next two, three, four years, uh, we'll see that there is a difference. And we can, we can, we can make a world full of love. And in many ways, what this means is experience a sense of uh, oneness with uh, other people. And with nature, with animals, and everything, and with the planet, uh, a sense of, of oneness. And really, consciousness is a oneness. Uh, consciousness is in everything and is, is a oneness. And it expresses itself differently through different um, life forms whether it be people, animals, the whole of nature, the planet, everything. Um, but the growth of consciousness means the growth of the sense that everything is consciousness and everything is a oneness. And we do in our own lives experience a sense of oneness with, with people, with, with everything. Um, sense of unity. Uh, I remember being told once, uh, unity is seeing the world in yourself and yourself in the world. And what that means is that you can see in yourself all the tendencies, all the characteristics, all the nature that you see uh, in other people, in different degrees, obviously. Uh, but somewhere, at some level, you can see that really, you know, we're all we're all of a oneness, and and equally to see yourself in the world means uh, you see the sort of person you are, the sort of uh, tendencies, characteristics, and so on that you have being expressed by other people in the world. And the more you do that, it seems, the more you do experience that sense of oneness. And with that comes a sense of love. And it's as if love is the kind of glue of the universe. It's what holds everything together. It's what, uh, it's what gives a coherent consciousness. It's the coherence, the, the holding together. Uh, so love is not a, a, a mushy thing, a romantic thing. It's the energy which actually holds everything together and uh, enables everything to be what it is and to uh, exist and create. Um, and uh, creativity is something that we all experience, if, uh, if, if nothing else. We're creators in the same way that there is, we believe, a creator. Um, and that, that creator uh, is consciousness. And our consciousness is that consciousness and therefore our creativity is that creativity and what we do in the world is is create a world and it's all held together by love so the uh, the main experience that I believe I understand 
uh, will come to us over the next few years is that experience of the growth of love and everything that that will bring and uh, I'm still not going to say that it's going to be easy uh, because it will bring its own challenges and we won't automatically feel very loving and very blissful uh, because we've got a lot of change to go through uh, but I believe that that's what we're aiming towards and the more we can uh, begin to live as if we are already loving to a much greater degree uh, the more comfortable it will be for us the sooner we'll uh, experience these benefits and the sooner we'll change our own at least our personal world um, to be become a more loving world and uh, also help to create the larger world to become more loving because there are various ways in which we can uh, help the world. It's amazing how, how much of an impact we actually have on the world as a whole. We only have to go into our kitchen and see how much food is imported from across the world and have an awareness about, you know, does this actually, is this sustainable? Does this help people uh, in uh, other parts of the world to be importing food like this? So, you know, in many ways we can we can begin to have that effect that increasingly this quantum leap will provide for us. And as I'm saying, it's a, it's a matter of degree. Uh, I'm looking for a, a fairly high degree of uh, love in the world being um, developed in the next three or four years. Uh, and I believe that uh, the sooner we start doing that, sooner it'll happen and the more comfortable the whole process will be for us so that's my understanding of what it is we're moving towards and what this quantum leap really is all about it's the growth of consciousness it's the growth of love and caring and compassion uh, in the world and uh, I believe it will change the world in a very major way how this is going to happen exactly, what the mechanics of it are, why it's happening at this time, all these things I will talk about uh, in more detail, uh, in, in more videos. But uh, that is basically, I believe, what we're uh, moving towards, a much more loving world. And I have a feeling that really but we'll all, we all want it. This is what we want. And it's going to it's going to be very different from the way it is today. So, there we are. Uh, my understanding, anyway. And, uh, 